hello Robbie Wong here so we're doing something a little bit different and I, I've always had a love for magic ever since a, a friend taught me back when I was in sixth grade or seventh grade somewhere around then and I, I just thought it was so fascinating so I, I started whenever revised was, was coming out the the next set we were gonna look forward to was fifth edition and fallen empire and the group of friends that I played with either didn't know how to draft or draft didn't exist back then. So I, uh, one of the two. And it just, it was never a thing and took a humongous hiatus in the middle during college and only re really recently started to draft again. And so the reality of my draft situation is I have never once since I started playing on Arena really gotten past whatever is past bronze. Like I can barely scrape past bronze and then make it through there. Uh, but I like the idea of drafting. I just wasn't ever really good at it. So one of the things I want to start doing on the channel is start playing some draft on there. It might scratch some people's itch. If, if it's not, then obviously you can watch some of the, I'm not going to stop playing constructed, but uh, I want it to be interesting and I want it to be relevant and I know for a lot of people if it's not on its way to Mythic it's not really relevant but I am a big fan of projects and I'm a big fan of getting better at the things that I'm passionate about so any goal has to have small term goals so here's what we're going to do so the goal is to get into Mythic and, and draft but any goal that's nebulous and you can't quantify or have dates to staple yourself down into. Like this is a bad, this is a good goal, but it is a bad way to get there. So we have these specific things that we're gonna start doing. Uh, once quick draft starts for Kalheim, which is now we're gonna do two drafts a week. And that that is measurable. <laughs> we, can, we can check that or we can't check that. Uh, we're gonna watch and listen to all of the limited resources videos uh, from LSB and I forget the, the other guy right now, but they, they put together, this was recommended by a friend of mine and the videos I've been watching, they've been really informative and very helpful. So just sort of listen to someone smarter than me, which is always really important. Knowing somebody who knows how to do it. I'm not that I know them, uh, create content for channel once a week in regards to drafting. This is pretty loose. If, if I even remotely put effort into this, we'll check that. Uh, build pretend decks for major draft archetypes and do draft draft isms once a day. So I think one of the things about constructed is I can go on the internet and find somebody's deck list that's much better than me and just borrow their car. I really like watching Crokies. I really like watching Jeff Hooglin. So watching them and have their de deck list available and then just grabbing it and then trying it and then being more successful from that, that's really easy. And I know that draft decks, people post their results. They're like, oh, look how good this is. And that's something that we can look at. But in the middle, when I'm looking at a pack of cards, it doesn't immediately make sense what to grab from there. And then you have these 45 choices that you're supposed to all of a sudden become cohesive and make sense. So after watching limited resources videos and kind of looking at the different archetypes, one of the things that I started to play around with, because it helps me, and if it helps you, that sounds great, is you know, if I put together a two spells a turn deck and it's magic Christmas land and nobody's picking, what, what does that look like? What does, what does my removal potentially look like? What, so here's some removal. What do my payoffs look like if I'm in magic Christmas land? You know, the, 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 cre the, cr the creature that generates tokens, the, the cheap foretell that gains you life, the creature that gets bigger because you draw two, like the uncommon bomb, and then obviously some of this other stuff is, is you know, who's going to let you have this much. But looking at it from this perspective, from the completely unrealistic, it, it helps clarify in my mind, you know, if I'm heading for an archetype if it makes it if the pack is sort of and the players are nudging me in a direction what is that direction what does it look like what what are the cards that I'm looking for and so just as sort of an exercise putting together 
these different Kaldheim decks, like the Giants and the Angels, and it's two spells a turn, to see what it looks like. So, build pretend decks for major draft, draft archetypes, check, uh, do draftisms once a day. Uh, I found that doing that, it's a, it's a website, the, and especially this set, there's a lot of words, and doing a pretend draft where there's absolutely nothing on the line, it helps me practice picking the best pup in the litter out of the 15. And then the other part of it too is with the whole set being reduced to just 15 cards in front of you, it helps me to focus in on like, well, what does this card do? What does this card do? Because when I open up a pack, it, it's not immediately obvious what all of the cards are or what they all do. I, have, I haven't memorized the whole set. So we're going to see where these goals take us. Anything past silver is going to be an improvement with the eventual goal of let's get into Mythic. How long is that going to take? A month, two months, three months? Uh, is this good enough given just time and reps? Or do we have to add more goals to this as we go uh, through and learn about what resources are available? Uh, but it's gonna be a really good adventure for me. And the other thing about it is I, I get really antsy about drafting online because if I, I know I can make it into Mythic and, and Historic Constructed, but the draft is something else completely. It's a, it's a different sub game of Magic. So now, if I'm forced to do it publicly though, I, I'm gonna make choices and some of them are gonna be good and then I'll be rewarded and some of them will be bad and I'll feel embarrassed. And then I'll be like, well, I, I definitely learned my lesson a lot harder than I would have if I just kept it in my own private little world here. So uh, that's gonna be it for this video. We'll see where this takes us and hopefully it doesn't take long, but it's going to be awesome, and if you're watching, maybe it can help you in your draft game as we struggle together through the ladder. I'm Robbie Wong. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and we will catch you on the next one.